It has been a wet Friday. We've still got some showers out there, especially south of I-44. We do have a couple of heavier pockets of rain down in north central Arkansas and over in parts of southwest corner of Missouri. And we've also got a very heavy pocket of rain in Ozark County. Was severe thunderstorm warning. That severe thunderstorm warning has since expired. Now we've seen several inches of rain fall over the entire day. It started raining very early this morning. We had a little bit of a break around lunchtime and then the rain continued. We've got between two and four inches of rain fell just north and west of I-44. We've seen some areas with more than four inches of rainfall and that's why we've got a couple of aerial flood warnings in effect for specifically that part as well. Now these showers were able to squeeze out a lot of rain because there's so much atmospheric moisture that they had no problem taking that moisture squeeze it out like a sponge and dropping several inches very quickly. There's an aerial flood warning specifically north and west of I-44 for several counties until 1115 tomorrow morning. There's concern with, of course, aggravated rivers and flash flooding and flooding over the roadways. We've also got an aerial flood advisory in effect for counties like Green, Christian, Jasper and Lawrence County. This does include Springfield. This goes until 630 this evening and another aerial flood advisory that that goes until 745 for parts of Stone and Taney County. That does include Branson and Hollister. As these showers and storms continue to progress south, there is that chance for some severe weather. The main threat being heavier pockets of rain and maybe some gusty winds with that. But otherwise, those are the only severe storms that we could potentially see because we're not in a typical severe weather setup. What we're in is just a setup where showers and storms will continue with these disturbances, especially during the afternoon hours and with those flash flooding is still a big concern. So as always, do not drive into the flooded roadways. Do not walk, swim or play in those floodwaters through the rest of the evening. Those showers will continue to move south. And we'll be looking at mostly quiet conditions through the evening and overnight hours, but warm and humid temperatures only dropping into the upper 60s and lower 70s by tomorrow morning. We'll see mostly cloudy conditions throughout the morning hours. We'll get to see a little bit of sunshine through the afternoon, but then notice showers and storms do bubble up again in the afternoon. Temperatures topping off in the upper 80s. Those showers will continue through the evening, possibly into Sunday morning. Otherwise, mostly cloudy conditions and temperatures once again in the 70s. Tomorrow, for those of you that get to see more sunshine. Your heat advisories will be in the middle and upper 90s with temperatures topping off in the upper 80s. What's happening with our pattern is we have this cold front that will continue to sag south, bringing in those shower chances across the Ozarks for both Saturday and for Sunday. That cold front is not going to drop temperatures. Temperatures will remain in the upper 80s and then watch what happens through the middle of next week. will be temperatures in the lower 90s. Not each day is going to be a washout. Not everybody's going to see rain. But it would be nice to keep your umbrella handy and keep your umbrella in your car if you're traveling anywhere this weekend for the holiday. If you want to go golfing tomorrow, I say just keep an eye to the sky because we do have that chance of showers and storms and bring some water. We've got temperatures in the upper 80s and feel like temperatures again in the 90s. Or maybe if you want to go fishing again, just keep an eye to the sky. We do have that chance of showers and storms through Monday. Then it's going to turn hot and humid. Lots of sunshine temperatures in the lower, maybe some middle 90s by the middle of next week. We're really starting to dry out and mm -hmm. crank up the heat then. Absolutely. Okay, what's our viewers club number tonight? The number tonight is 252-074. A jackpot's $400. Right.